Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for being patient. Paul, uh, it's not often actually jumping town, uh, um, bringing in managers from the you know, United States of America, but there's always the first time. So this is Paul Buckle, Jumping Town's new manager, and the beginning of an exciting new era for the club. Um, I think what we'll do, rather than having questions, I think we'll, we'll allow you just to come along and do your individual interviews, unless you want to ask particular questions, or Paul wants to say, any, say if he was first, Paul. It's been a whirlwind 24 hours, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm ready for any questions, and absolutely delighted to be here. Um, things move very quickly in football, but that was pushing it, so uh, we stepped off the plane, but I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. Where did the interest start, Paul? Tell us the kind of history to this. Uh, trying to think of the time difference. Uh, yesterday afternoon, so yeah, things have moved really quickly, as I said. Uh, I had other offers um, in the States, and I made my mind up I was going to go back into management. Um, but after speaking with Paul and hearing his thoughts on the club, it's been right to the top. The list, and, and like I say, I knew, I knew in my stomach, in my gut, that this was right. Uh, I've always uh, enjoyed coming to this club uh, with teams, uh, the atmosphere, it's a family club, and um, goes hand in hand with everything that uh, I stand for, so absolutely thrilled. So have you missed English football? I've been back quite a bit, so um, have I missed management? No, I've used the time wisely, I've had a good rest. Um, I have been back and I've kept my eye and uh, I'm ready to go, I've had a good rest, so I'm ready to go. And in terms of um, why it's Paul, Paul, <laughs> uh, yeah. give us a, um, a, a reason as to why he was the man for you. Um, I think um, I've known Paul now quite a few years from the days when he was managing the Torquay, uh, and uh, we, we admire the way in which Torquay played. I think they were one of the best football insides around at the time, Paul, when you were managing and you got into the playoffs, I think. Uh, in, league, in League Two, having just got promoted from the conference, um, so the style of football I think was, was great. And, and we've, I've met Paul informally on a number of occasions, and we've always got on well. Uh, and um, that's it, really. You look at his track record playoffs and the FA Cup run at Luton, um, the signings that he's made at different clubs. I think there's so many really, really positive things in, the, in, in his CV that made him a, a perfect fit for us. Um, it's interesting actually, people will say, well what happened at Rovers, and I, I did, did speak to the chairman at Rovers, and it seems to me that um, Bristol Rovers just seems to be a, a, a graveyard for managers, doesn't it? <laughs> Any manager is able to deal with the situation at Rovers, is, I don't know why, but certainly at, at Luton and Torquay, fantastic, and uh, I've been really excited actually, uh, it's a new era, uh, and I'm really excited to work with Paul. And Paul, you had, you've obviously had a very nice life in America. It'd be quite easy to have, to have stayed there, yeah. I guess, yeah. really. So it's quite, it's quite a tie, is it? A, a tug to come back to England? Uh, you know, in football, you don't know what's around the corner. You never know what, what phone call you're going to get. And uh, I was having a great life in, in America, but, you know, I'm a manager. I was managing for six years, as Paul alluded to there, and had some great times. Had some lows, of course, but um, every manager has some lows. But I've had some really big highs, and... Uh, once uh, we got talking, I could really picture myself being at this club, and um, you know, we, my, my teams do play a, a good brand of football. I haven't met the players here yet; I've just briefly met the staff. Uh, but I'll be meeting the players uh, this evening. That will start. I was keen to get this up and running today rather than wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is an important day with a big game on Saturday. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cram quite a bit in, you know, today and tonight, and then start fresh tomorrow. But yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I'm, 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 I'm um, very proud and uh, I can't wait to get started. And how much do you know of the players? I know you haven't met them personally yet, but you must have done your research before coming to the club. Yeah, I know the players and it's not been that long since um, they were playing against me. I've not got any players here that, that I've worked with, but yeah, certainly, you know, you get to know players, they get to know the managers and um, there's a few smiles as I come in. Um, and, you know, Nice to see uh, some of the familiar faces. So, Chatham are 18th after a bad run. What do you think you can do to get them up the table? Well, I think I've, I've you know, uh, trust the work I've done before at clubs and, and uh, it's just brought me some success. So, um, it's going to be a case of, of uh, speaking with the staff, finding out what's been going on, finding out, you know, I know we've been playing the five at the back talk about that, 
Um, is it right to do that Saturday, isn't it? You know, all those things will be going on today, tomorrow, uh, Friday, before we go in to the game on Saturday. But um, yeah, I think, you know, I've got my own management style and it's a, it's, a, it's a style where everybody will get a chance. Of course, I've got certain standards, I've got high standards, and I expect the players to train properly, live their lives right, okay, and um, give themselves and our football club every chance of winning at the weekend. Any players in particular you're looking forward to seeing? Oh, it's too early to name names. You know what they'll be like? They'll all be like, you know, texting and talking to each other about that. No, they've they've all got a chance. I mean, um, it's never a nice time when a manager leaves a club. Um, but the players now, they've got a chance to uh, to show the new manager what they're about. And um, I won't be kidded. I can't be kidded. You know, it's simple as that. I want people to work hard, really hard, and I'm out here every day. Uh, I want players to stay behind do extra because I think if you do that you get an edge it's all you know I've given you a few of my trade secrets away but you know the simple stuff I think you know if, if we work hard I think supports pay the money they'd like to see that first and foremost you know chasing balls down and you know not giving anyone an easy ride when they come to Wadham Road. You mentioned you've come back from the States a couple of times have you seen Cheltenham play in in the year and also since leaving Luton? Um, I've seen loads of games. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I've, I've visited a lot of training grounds, um, picking up ideas, and I've used the time to the best of my ability, and I've used it wisely. And so, uh, you know, that's been good. That's been a real plus. You do need sometimes to have a break. You don't always get it. Sometimes you get it unexpectedly as a manager. But certainly, you know, obviously I left to go to the States with my wife. Um, it was right to do that. But now it's right to come back and uh, picked up lots of stuff and a good rest. Now it's back into the thick of things. But I'm 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 absolutely delighted to be here and I'm very proud to be the manager. And Sean North, you must be excited to work with him again. Uh yeah, Sean's he knows me. He might have been thinking, oh, Paul, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because uh, you know he'll probably tell you himself. I'm a stickler for for uh, attention to detail. I think it's so important to give yourself a real chance weekends or on a Tuesday night I think if you cut corners in your training if you're a player or a coach and you know, come back you know to haunt you so Sean will know exactly our work uh, the ideas that I've got I've got some new ideas but ultimately this is this is not just about me this is about me coming into and, and learning what's been going on and again so before the staff will play a role in that in terms of what they know about the players. And being over in the States, have you managed to keep an ear into what's going on in League Two? Is your knowledge of League Two as it was? It's probably better. I wasn't able good. wasn't able to look at what was going on, <laughs> uh, you know, while the games were going on. But no, I've yeah, of course I have. Yeah, I've I always had a feeling I'd come back and manage. You know, I've I've had so, I had such a good time. I've been really lucky in, in the six seasons I had. Brilliant, brilliant times. You know, and I re I'll do everything possible to bring good times to this club. How do you think the fans are going to react to you and do you have a message for the fans? I think fans will react on, on you know, what you can bring to the club. It's as simple as that. Obviously, we are 18th in the league. We, you know, and I want to put that right. I want us to start climbing the league. Um, I want to take the club forward. That's the first thing. I think, without a doubt, we, we've let too many goals in. That has to stop. So that's going to be the first uh, port of call. But ultimately, you know, it's about confidence and players need confidence and the supporters will know they play a major role. And I get the feeling at this club that that is, you know, pretty much in place where everybody's pulling the right direction, you know, and, and, and I've looked at that, it's important for me and it's so important for the players, you know, on a Saturday to get a good vibe, a good feeling, but they know that it's up to us to make it happen. Mark Yates was here for five years. Do you feel a certain amount of pressure stepping into his shoes? after such a long reign? No, not really, no. Um, I think in football what's gone before has gone before, you can't affect it. It's about moving forward and I've got a tough job on my hands now in terms of uh, taking this squad forward, the staff. Um, but I've done it before, I did it at Luton. I went at Luton in sort of, I think it was February or March and went on beat and run and just got beat in the playoff final. So it can turn very quickly, you know, it can. And, you know, this is what I'll be stressing to the players. and they. They've got a chance now, and it starts now. You know, it's no good waiting, and you know they have a real chance because it'd be wrong of me to be judging anybody, really. Um, 
that's what's the point in, in, in new manager coming in. I need to come in. Yeah, of course, I need to lean on the staff. But at the same time, they get their, their opportunity to impress me uh, in a minute in, in, in our meet, one-on-one meetings and then out there. Thank you very much. And Thank Paul, you. Paul, you're not coming into a side that's sort of cut adrift at the bottom of the table. I mean, this is a side who've at times this season been in the sort of top three or four. So you're not coming to a real yeah. struggle. It's like they've got potential and they, you know, they, you've shown what they can do earlier in the, earlier in the season. You're absolutely right. I've, I've, and I've looked at that. So it's about trying to get back to winning ways. It's, that's what it's about. It's about building momentum. It's about, you know, once you've got hold of something in football, you've got to grab it. You know, you've really got to grab hold of it, you've got to keep working even harder because it can slip, you know, and, and we've seen in this division this year, teams have been on terrible runs, you know, and then they've been able to, um, you know, win a game, you know, nick a game here, and then all of a sudden go on an amazing run. So it's about confidence. Confidence is a huge thing. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be exciting and, um, but we'll be giving it everything. I'll be I'll be pushing for the players and staff to be giving it everything they've got. You talk about excitement. It would have been very easy to, you know, take a flight over tomorrow, you know, wandering. But you were obviously so keen, you know, getting as quick as possible and trying to hit the ground running. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely. And you're you're right. I mean, it didn't even enter into my mind the, the minute, the second I. I mean, Rebecca said to me, "Oh, you, when are you going to go the next day after that?" And I said, mm, "Maybe tonight." So all oh, right. So. I was straight on it, you know, there's no point. Once it had been agreed, then I come back. I mean I haven't signed a contract yet, but <laughs> once I once, you know, I knew it was happening, the most important thing was to come back, obviously speak with the with you good people and then speak with the staff and the players because then it's tomorrow. It's key. Thursday's a key day and I can just focus with them because that's what they want, the players, that's all the players will want, you know, they want to train and you know, be ready for Saturday. And if we all, if we're all sat there at quarter to three on Saturday, and we know we've given everything, which we will have, we've got a chance of winning. You know, so we, we're going to be the preparation starts now. Um, it was a small sacrifice to jump on a plane, you know, a few hours after, and I'm glad I've done it. And you know, you say you've met, going to meet your new players today. Have you thought about trying to get any in before the loan window shuts tomorrow? Is that something no, that's been on your mind? Or not? No, I think um, it's. I mentioned it with the chairman. Um, I mentioned it with couple of the staff but um, no I think you know I need to give the players a chance here I mean again I've not spoken to the staff at length so I don't know about injuries I don't know about you know where we're at with that I know we've got a few niggles um, we've got uh, Matty coming back who's been out and so I need to look at that as well I need to protect us with that so there's a lot to do in the next the next uh, few hours and days but at the same time um, the boys have got a chance the boys have got a chance now to impress me and Matty Taylor, for example, is the sort of level of player you're coming into. He's played at higher level than this, has been a, a captain for quite a lot of mm. successful teams. He's the sort of player they've got to come back into this squad, so they're certainly no mugs, are they? No, he beat me in the playoffs, Matty, so he's not start, he won't be starting for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and on, on that note, I suppose yeah. you've, uh, you've got, um, I think you've got Exeter and Luton within the next sort nice. of six weeks or so, before the nice. end of January, I think, so Perfect. some old friends to see in yeah, those two games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not playing against Luton before, but certainly they've had some great games against Exeter. And so, you know, Steve and Paul down there well. and yeah. But <clears throat> that's all in the future. My, my sole focus is this today with the boys, tomorrow's training, and then Saturday. You know, get us as organised as we can for what's going to be a great game on Saturday.